going to be people who just can't put up with it. There's going to be people who's just like disgusted by you. And you may not want to hear that, but you have herpes. I have herpes. She has herpes. He has herpes. <laughs> That's funny. I think she talked too much for her own good. No, she been fucking every nigga in the hood. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Ari. I'm 20 years old and I have herpes. If you aren't new, welcome back to my channel. I was just watching this video and then he was like, if you're practicing anything, may that be music, dance, art, sculptures, just anything in general, well or bad, don't do it for money. And I'm like, I'm not doing this for money. I genuinely just like the thought of becoming a YouTuber. So today we're gonna talk about, you know, herpes, of course, but how to be confident with herpes. I feel like a lot goes into that, especially if you are newly diagnosed, then you don't know how to feel most of the time or you don't know what to feel. There's no direct way to feel, but I think I have a couple of tips that can help you. I'm trying to fix my hoodie because I want y'all to see my tattoo. I forgot my tripod in the dorm, so I don't want to walk all the way back out there. It's kind of scary out there. This is the country. It's like dark as hell. I hear frogs. I don't do frogs. And I don't know if she, um, lock the door so here I am in the program room yeah so let's get into this video the first the very first thing that comes with confidence while having herpes I would say is acceptance you have to accept the fact that you have herpes that it's untreated that it's uncurable understand that it is treatable though like you can you definitely can treat yourself it's not curable and that's okay. There's a lot of uncurable diseases out there. I like to put as like I like to put herpes in the STD category. This might be kind of ranty, but I'll try to make the video as short as possible so I don't, you know, get off track. Cause I typically do. I'm still kind of tired. I woke up at 4 a.m. just to film this video. But acceptance. Um, do your research on it, literally. Um, Find out what the STD is, how you contracted it, um, how to prevent outbreaks. I mean, just come to acceptance with it. Understand that it is your body, that you're still healthy, that you're still, you know, a person. And it doesn't dictate your future. It really does not. It does not dictate future relationships either. Um, I would say the second thing is start finding hobbies that you enjoy. I found an outlet in YouTube, TikTok. I found an outlet in making group chats for the girls, you know what I mean? Um, it will help you, like, sometimes you need to forget. Like, you don't have to fully forget. I'm not saying deflect, you know what I mean? Like. I'm simply saying distract yourself so you don't overthink or overwhelm your emotions into where you're like emotionally unstable to where you're treating others badly or you're too scared to say something so you're out there having sex anyway. It's good to, it's good not to think about what stresses you out sometimes. The whole, the how I grew my confidence, I really just, I surrounded myself around people who accept me for who I am, realistically. Um, a lot of people judge me. A lot of people think that I'm nasty. A lot of people think that I'm contagious. The stigma is very heavy. It's, it's very freaking heavy. But that doesn't, a lot of people might not treat me how they'll treat you and vice versa. You might get a better result than I do. Some people accept me for who I am because they have it and they don't want to tell anybody that they have it. Some people treat me good because they're not judgmental. But I do have bad days. I have terrible days. Because I still want to be, you know, that idealistic girl. Like, I want to be a girl who doesn't have it. I want to be the pretty girl who just, who's normal, like, quote unquote normal. Like. But let's build our confidence up. Join this group chat. Honestly, text me on Instagram. Text me on Text me on Instagram, text me on Snapchat. We can start a group chat, we can build that confidence. It's just nothing but girls in there who have it. Even if you don't have any, you want to join the group chat, 
just don't be in there to be judgmental or to be nosy, like, oh my God, who has it? You know what I mean? Because that's just lame, you're lame. Find something, you're in your 20s, and if you're 18, cool, but like, I feel like most of these girls that come towards me are like, and they're, they're older than me, most of them are older than me anyway, but don't be lame, just let her grow her confidence. I feel like the third thing would be, you know, after acceptance and then finding hobbies for distractions, for positive distractions, because that's a good thing. There could be um, a potential friend that you could confide in. Um, it's always good to have that one friend that respects your boundaries, that understand what you're going through, that's very supportive. I have a friend who's very supportive of me. Like, I have two male friends who just don't care. Like, they still rocking with me. Like, I feel like sometimes they even forget because the, the energy is so raw. You know what I mean? And I appreciate them too for that. So I would say get you, get you a really compatible friend. Or if you, even if you have to grow a new bond with somebody, that is completely fine. You can practice telling just a friend, even if they're male or a female, before you, you know, get out there and get ready to go tell a guy, you know? It works out, it works out. The fourth thing would be a partner, like a relationship partner. I feel like once you find somebody again, you will become more confident. Don't, don't be like me. Don't be like me. I straight up told the world when I found out. I was so scared, didn't have no, I didn't have anybody. So I was like, shit, I'm gonna tell somebody. And I told 1.6 million people. So yeah, I got dragged through the mud, through the fucking mud, bro because I wanted to, but it's okay. Like that kind of grew my confidence. You're gonna, you're gonna hear hateful things. That's what you need to remember. Okay, there's gonna be, there's gonna be people who just can't put up with it. There's gonna be people who's just like disgusted by you and you may not want to hear that, but you have herpes. I have herpes, she has herpes, he has herpes. Like you need to realize that it's okay, but you need to be realistic. A lot of people don't mess with that stuff. A lot of people are very serious about their health. A lot of people, and they're so serious that they become aggressive. So, but just, that's why you just close. You don't want to play with nobody because you don't want nobody to play with you. You don't want nobody to be in your shoes. So that's why you just close because you know how you're feeling right now. You know that you're not as confident. That's why you're watching this video and you don't want them to feel the way that you feel right now. So just close. Simply just tell them that you have herpes and they might just accept you. You know what I mean? I take, I take chances, you know what I mean? Like, I don't care. If I want somebody, I'm telling them right then and there. Like, especially if I'm interested in you, I wanna get more, I wanna be more than friends. Do you have herpes? I have herpes. Like, there's ways to say it. Like, there's ways to say it. Text is fine, face-to-face -face is fine. If you don't wanna do it over text because you believe that they're gonna show everybody, then I'd simply just say that face-to-face -face is better for you, FaceTime is better for you. It's just what works for you. Start getting pretty again. Like, start doing your hair. Start doing your makeup. Even if you don't know how to, if you don't know how to do makeup, start doing your hair. Go get your hair done. I know you know somebody that know how to do hair. You have a job. If you don't have a job, I don't know. Put it in a back bun. Lay your edges down. You can never go wrong with back bun. You see what I'm saying, girl? Put on a hoochie mommy outfit that you got in your closet. I know you got one. Take some pictures. Dedicate to investing yourself. Like, really investing yourself. I would say some other stuff, but I can't. Remerge property through and through. <laughs> but that's all I have right now, honestly. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I made it as short as possible. I know this is kind of ranty. I didn't want to be all over the place. If you enjoyed the video, like the video. If you didn't, dislike the video. If you want to be in a group chat, comment down below. I'm not going to put my number on YouTube because that is outrageous. Um, but you do have to uh, text me on Instagram or TikTok. Here's my social medias. I even have Thread now. I would tell you to follow me on that thing, but you know. Yeah, can't do that. Not going to do that. Not feeling that. I think the next full video is going to be how to tell someone, uh, updated how to tell someone you have herpes. Because I feel like a lot of people have trouble with disclosing. Bye bye. Jazz fingers. She did her dance with the demons. I like her cause she liked the season.